So to be able to put 10 different pallets on, some with multiple jobs, it's, uh, it's certainly the way forward. I'm here at High Spec Precision with Darren, um, and we're sitting in front of his brand new recent purchase, the Matsura MX330. Darren, why did you purchase this machine? We needed to automate our five axis machining on lower volumes, and after looking around the market, it seemed to be the best choice for us. So why was it the best choice? Was it because it was fully fledged five axis? Was it the control system? Fully fledged five axis, a lot of machines are these days. The, the build quality on the Matsura stood out. It's a very rigid, very well made machine. Um, the real sort of deciding point was the capacity, the size of part you can put in, the weight of the part. Nobody seems to touch it. No, no, definitely not. And the size of the machine we were talking about, how well did the installation go and the site survey? Um, I mean, from the very beginning, Matsura were uh, very proactive in what they did. They come out, they did a site survey, they made sure it fit through the door, they made sure they could get their lorry down our drive uh, to, the, to the floor being suitable. So it was extremely smooth. There were no problems in installation or commissioning. And um, within the week of it being delivered, it was commissioned and ready to go. Was it a fully up and working by that time? Were you running it continuously? We, we had to have training. Yes. Uh, how, how did the training go? The training was fine. Uh, a lot of information to take in in a few days. We also bought Hypermill at the same time, so we were learning that at the same time. So it's been a slow start. Of course. But now it's, uh, it's paying dividends, really. What do you think of the remote intelligent machining monitoring? Does that help you uh, as a company? It certainly shows where tool life's going to run out when we are scheduling jobs. Um, I, I can see it being a great benefit when you've got more than one machine. Uh, but for now, just knowing what the tool lives are, you know, if you schedule up half a dozen pallets to go through, you'll know if one of your tools is going to uh, reach its end of life before it's got through them all. So it's giving you a fail safe really of, yeah. of when you can change your tools because you don't want a tool to break midway through a cycle exactly. and then you've got a scrap part. One thing I do want to show the people at home is it's got a pallet system on the side. So is that one of the reasons why you purchased this machine also? It's the, the main reason we started to look. We wanted to be able to uh, leave it running without a person being in attendance, be it through the night or through the day. So to be able to put 10 different pallets on, some with multiple jobs, it's, uh, it's certainly the way forward. So talking about you've got different parts on here, what are the different sizes of parts that you can fit on these pallets? Because obviously you've got really big parts and some quite small parts as well. Uh, yeah, we've set the, the pallets up uh, in various different configurations from single vices that will hold up to 250 millimeters square, uh, keeping the height within the 300 mil yeah. cylinder, um, to th three vices on angled platens, to three and four vices on vertical platens. Um, we've also got three jaw chucks as well. Uh, so it, it does cover a multitude of different jobs and allows you to get the most cycle time per pallet so that you can get the most cycle time per pallet changer. Yeah, no, I completely understand. And cycle time is a vital part of mm. running a company. Um, if you were to invest in another machine, would you pick another Matsura? Yes, yeah, I would have no issues with picking another Matsura. It's been a very smooth, easy process. It's a great machine, it's accurate. Yeah, no regrets.